All right, well, uh, I just came back from Utah after being with Josh. We rode dirt bikes all day, put up a little clip of that. While we were there, this whole story went through and uh, I thought it was fun to share, not only because I'm gonna monetize the shit out of it so that I can pay it off, but also it's just kind of scum and uh, hopefully this doesn't happen to you. I was just scrolling around and this deal popped up on this really cool thing I've been trying to buy called the Toy Toyan Engine LS400. It's pretty much a small scaled, like a 10th scale version of an engine that goes in these like cool Toyotas that you can have on your desk and it can run with fuel, it has a radiator, it has a gas tank, it has a water tank for cooling, it has the whole car set up, but a tenth of a scale. And I thought it'd be super cool to take it apart, put it together, and show it. And here's a video of what it sounds like. <laughs> It sounds so freaking cool. It sounds like an F1 car just zooming around all day. So I wanted to take it and turn it into content where we would connect it to like stupid shit that doesn't need a lot of power and just give it like, I don't even know how much power it makes. Let's say one horsepower worth of power. Let's say you had like a desk fan that was operated by a 14cc engine and you had to put like nitro fuel to blow cool air on yourself as you're blowing exhaust fumes. That'd be funny. Connect to electric toothbrush, start brushing your teeth with a horsepower. Just stupid shit like that. So I saw it and I was like, hey, this is a really good deal. They go for like 900 bucks, just the engine without the kit. So it's probably worth it to just grab one of these, who knows? Oh, I have a picture here of actually what the site looks like. It, it, it's not Amazon, but it looks like a, like a decent site. It looks like a drop shipping site, which I have ordered stuff on before for a massive deal and it has worked out, which is why I fell for this, or at least the excuse of why I fell for this. So I found the great deal, I purchased it and it was coming in the mail right away or it said it was shipped right away. Then I also went to another site, to the legit site where they actually sell the real engines, and I ordered from them a full engine kit, which comes with like a starter, it comes with the spark plugs, it comes with everything you need to get that engine started, except for fuel, which I was just gonna buy once it came in. After those three weeks, I sent them an email saying, hi, here's what I ordered, it's the massive engine name, from your website, my order number is, and according to the tracking number, the package has been delivered. Then I look back and I see that I've been delivered these four keychain tools. I have them somewhere here. This is the biggest junk you'll ever see. They're like, they're like aluminum can, like they melted aluminum cans and poured it into like a, into like a stencil or a mold. They're so cheap, they're so garbage. They're like these little Allen key, you have a flathead, you got a Phillips, you got all the, the shapes and sizes and it goes on your keychain. It also weighs a shit ton, so good luck putting that on your keys. And it has a couple other things like a bottle opener or whatever. So I thought this was like a promotion deal, which I've gotten before from certain websites where if you order a lot of stuff, they're like, hey, we love you. You guys just saw that in the last video. And they send you like this really broken English email and then they give you something for free. I thought that's what this was. So in the email, I threw it that I got these and I'm gonna have to report it as fraud because I didn't get what I ordered and I'm assuming that this is from them. So I'm assuming they sent me the wrong thing because I ordered a four piece part of the engine and I got four of these keychain tools. So then we wait like five days and they send me an email. Dear customer, we feel very sorry to hear that. Please do not worry. We will try our best to solve this for you. And then it all started to make sense. In order to save time and energy, we'd like to offer you a $5 refund as most as compensation and you do not need to send items back. To us since returning postage fee is very expensive and we will not bear it. So they're saying, keep what we sent you. Sorry, we sent you the wrong thing. These cheap, cheap 50 cent tools that we sent you, we're so sorry, it was our mistake, but we're not gonna pay to have you return it back. So just keep them. And then we're gonna keep all your money and give you $5 back. $5 isn't even what I paid in taxes. It may take one month for the parcel to reach us. The parcel may get lost on the way. That's them saying we might just not accept it. So then you have to figure it out after. And we will not bear the risk. I hope you can understand best regards customer service. So now I'm fucking fuming. Like I know what they're doing. It all clicked. I'm like, shit, I just fell for one of these dumb scams. Then I sent them another email. I do not agree. I would like a full refund or my items. The item you sent is a cheap keychain tool that are not worth $5 together. Give me my money back. 
I'm just heated at this point. I have no regard to be nice or polite. I just want my money back because every time we send another email, I could just tell it's gonna be one step further from getting it. So they don't answer for a bit and then another email comes in, pretty much the same thing as the last one where they go, the return, the return postage is expensive. It's not worth it for you, so we want to give you a refund. The return address is in China. You can check the postage. We're reducing losses for you. Um, I did check the address. It's one of those like mass factories where you just drop ship shit. So they're drop shipping, but they're scamming with drop shipping. If that makes any sense. So they're putting up a pr something that is mass produced. They're just putting their name on it and they're sending it to you. It's clearly a replica version of the real $900 engine, which I was totally fine with from the start. But then it's one, de one level deeper than that where they just drop ship you some garbage and say, sorry for the inconvenience. So I decline again and I tell them, hey, give me my money back. I'm not doing this. And in that email where they say uh, the return address is in China, we would like to offer you a $7 refund for the compensation. And then this is all on purpose. They don't want you sending shit back. They make it super complicated on purpose. We're trying our best to help you as, and get you as much as you want. As long as you accept our offer. I tell them, hey, it's not my fault. I have nothing to do here, but I'm more than willing to help you get your shit back and then get my money back. So I'm not being hard to work with. I'm going to give them back their stuff and they will give me back my money and then we're Gucci. They made a mistake, they're gonna have to pay for it. That's part of running a business. When I'm running a business, I make a mistake, I pay for it, I never make the client pay for it. That'd make no sense. So we keep going back and forth. I'm gonna skip a couple emails. They go and they offer me, oops. They go and offer me $8. Then I tell them, no, I want my full refund. They offer me $12. We're just going back and forth and we're going at like two, $3 increments and it goes a couple times. Then from $12, I'm like, all right, here, I'll take 85% of what I sent you. Just give me 85%, I'll take it. You get to keep the rest. It's what it's going to cost to ship it back. Just give me my 85%. That's all I want. Sorry if I keep you waiting. It's not worth the return. We highly recommend you accept our offer at $20 as their maximum value. So now they're saying $20. I still have to pay to ship it back, which is going to cost more than $20. So all they're doing is reducing how much money I have to pay to get them back these stupid, cheap keychain tools. I'm in Utah at this point and I'm just fuming. I'm just trying to enjoy my trip. I don't want to think about these randos that are just going to steal my money. So I put in a PayPal case to report them for fraud because clearly they're not willing to work with me. They're not willing to help to get their money back. Or they're not willing to break even or even take a loss to make the customer happy because I would still get the engine from them if they had it. Even if I had to pay a little bit more, I would still go for it. It was still a really great deal, but they're just not willing to work with me at all. So I'm just like, I'm just tilted at this point. I'll just make sure I don't get toxic resin on my uh, screen here. So, so then I'm in Utah, right? I'm riding dirt bikes. I'm having a good time. And I get an email from PayPal saying my case has been reviewed. And this whole time we're, we've been pending on their answer for, uh, for the case. Yeah, so we sit there for another week trying to figure it out. We're going back and forth. And I get another email from PayPal saying my case has been reviewed and closed. Now what it means when it's closed is that the, the solution has been found. So I'm all happy now. I'm ready to see my money go back into my bank account, which is not at all what happened. They actually favored in decision for them. They said that I didn't provide enough info, that I, um, that it's just not enough for them to make a decision, which it's just not true. I sent them absolutely everything. Now I have to suffer a full loss or refund them the product. So they put me in this super shitty position where the only way to solve it is to lose more money and time. And at this point, I'm just thinking of letting it go and making it into a video and monetizing it. And then I don't have to worry about paying that money off. I could just do it through here, through my viewers, through my viewers' pockets. Yeah, it, it, it really fucking sucks, but it is what it is. Not doing that shit again. I'm just going to make a Patreon link in description. And if you guys want to help me go get that engine and we'll make it into funny content. Go for it. Sign up for that PayPal. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, storytelling type of video. I really had to get this done and I kind of wanted to talk about this because it was kind of a funny story of them kind of going back and forth over and over. And they're like, hey, you know what? Our last deal was at $5, deal or no deal for seven. And it was like playing a game show where they're just gonna keep scamming me and it's just gonna keep getting marginally better. So if you enjoyed, pop that like once, dislike twice as always, sub three times. Maybe leave a comment, tell me about what you think, and if, if it's ever happened to you, I'd love to hear more stories about that. 
And uh, if you want one of these keychains, just subscribe to the channel and I will get this to your doorstep tomorrow morning. See you later.